I'm Natalie Dodanio. I'm a mixed media artist um, and I also coach people one to one on finding freedom in art and life. And um, uh, what else? <laughs> this week has been a challenging week <laughs> in many ways. Um, sometimes expectations of like ourselves and with other people get like messy. <laughs> and um, sometimes. It could be like the worst week, but so many good things are happening <laughs> and like, it's hard to find that celebration. Um, so I wanted to talk about expectations, mistakes and letting go just briefly here. And then I'm going to go into like, what I really need to do is probably play and like exercise this energy, um, through automatic drawings uh, <laughs> and I'm gonna be a little more daring and just really go to the place that I want to go to um, lately I've been saying what I need to say it doesn't always come out right <laughs> and um, but I I'm just trying to be the truest to myself and what's true for me and that's hard and um, people don't always understand right People don't always understand your artwork, um, but it's not really about them. It's about you um, driving your own vehicle and saying what you need to say. And um, of course, owning the mistakes in the process, right? Um, so it takes lots of interactions and it's not just, it's never just one side. Um, I think that's important, like, in art making and creativity, too, right? Because you're never just entering into one side of yourself. You're entering into many spaces and places. And um, you don't always know where that's going to take you. And there can be mistakes. And sometimes we put so much expectations on ourselves to, like, do the perfect thing or the most correct thing. You know, never make a mistake in our expressions with people or in life. It's just not going to happen. Um, the bigger thing to do is to like create the deeper conversations around the mistakes and actually investigate how do the mistakes show up in our painting and creative life. And um, when it's happening in life, how do we learn to communicate what we really need in the moment? And um, sometimes a moment isn't right. And um, sometimes the way people come to you isn't right and vice versa me the person you know so it's messy at times um but it's necessary in order to learn how to grow and evolve and um expectations mistakes and letting go letting go is sometimes you just can't keep what you thought it was in art and in life you know and, I, and that's hard because, you know, often we want it to be what it was. And, um, but things change. People change. Art changes, <laughs> you know. And, um, but we're allowed to change, you know, and grow and, um, become fully integrated with ourselves and say what we need and make mistakes and, you know, try to make amends. But we can't, like, keep holding on to like worrying about are we going to make the mistakes because then we'll never start and we'll never try and we'll never continue this journey in art or life you know so I'm about to switch this off into um it's purely creative play it's about letting go um it's about maybe making a mistake in the process and allowing myself to do that without the judgment um, it's, it's, I would say it's really hard to do in art and life. <laughs> it's a process and a practice and that's why we're here, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so that's just a preemptive and I hope you enjoy the, um, automatic drawing, the expressions, the experiments and the explorations. And, um, yeah, there'll be more of that coming. There was like a lot of pensive, pent up emotion this week for me due to like various things that happened all at once in one week. Um, so my solution is to just um, take the emotion 
and the energy of the emotion, whether it's like positive or negative or neutral and which and just explore what's going on and um, really dial into mm, the feeling of the release and I love the tactile feel of marks like whether it's a crayon mark this like graphite mark here and like really just letting go and going crazy <laughs> I say crazy because like it will feel like I'm losing control and I love to feel like that in mark making not necessarily in life making <laughs> um but there's so many times that I've been out and of control in my own life <laughs> and I like so I can reference those moments to bring into mark making so oftentimes it's about drawing on the past even if it was a hard time and I would say I don't recommend this to people if you're like still dealing with the trauma of something or like don't pick something like super crazy to go investigate if it's like too raw but if you're feeling like even keeled and and like, oh, yeah, this time my life was really crappy, but like, oh, it taught me this thing or like I know that emotion of that time, but I'm kind of over it. So, you know, so I can like safely look at it in a different way. And I think you bring new light and energy to those moments through the mark making and through like investigating the emotion. To me, it's like such a super powerful creative outlet, <laughs> um, which I think anyone could do. Oh, that just like makes me excited because it's about the connection and the expression and the experimentation and exploration and um really like letting go but also finding out like what's inside and not being afraid to like open those doors and um that could take time though right and maybe not everyone's interested in this but I guess I can't let it go, right? So I just, this is like my thing, I guess. Because <laughs> it won't leave me alone. I don't know if you've ever tried to like leave something in your art practice or your creative practice or life and it just like keeps showing up again. Whether it's like a thought, a mark, another, a person, a like idea. And like the door just keeps like... <laughs> <laughs> what's the like you know like the knock gets louder and you get like all right I'm just gonna finally investigate this and you kind of throw up your hands <laughs> and just get like more into the moment of what's going on and sometimes that does involve like letting go right it also involves making a mess creating something that maybe doesn't make sense at the time having an obscure moment having an awkward moment making a mistake <laughs> we often learn from our mistakes and sometimes our mistakes can be some of the most happy accidents in art and life I don't know and it's not always clear um so it's about learning how to like take that deeper dive within and like look and then in, in, in this case, I love the tactile feel of different materials. I love Lyra Graphic Stick. That's probably the 9B because it's the darkest. Um, and just finding the mark and finding that moment, you know. And um, now it's becoming gentler here. So there was like an explosion and then there was a gentleness that came back into the moment. So it's noticing that like to me like I want to be noticing that even in the paintings. Um, and even in these simple moments like there's an explosion of energy. There's a release. There might be some resistance. There might even be some like deep sighing and like oh you're holding on you're letting go you're going back and forth into the moment you're mostly in this case I'm intuitively grabbing what's to the left of me which could be anything if you've ever seen the left side of my table 
and it's just really like diving into that moment um and I guess I don't know if using paint is cheating when I'm like saying it's drawing but anything that makes a mark to me like creates a drawing I can you know there are no rules here it's just exploration and experimentation and expression um and that all leads somewhere because that's what you know you need to keep doing that in order to, to me like enhance and develop intuition like where do you think intuition is coming from it's coming from like these explorations and if you do enough iterations over and over and over <laughs> you'll start to see patterns in your own self and um oh your own visual language will start to emerge and that's what's exciting and um, you get super more into risking in the moment. <laughs> and I'm just like seeing what like maybe even the material wants to do or how it feels or what if I scratch into the ink there, you know, it's all about that um, paying attention. And there's like subtle layers in between that. And, um, we can let go of what we think we thought we knew, <laughs> how we think it should be, the expectations of ourselves and others, like, oh, and, and that's a process and a practice in itself, and mostly in this drawing practice, we want to let go of our own expectations, because we're like entering into the feeling and entering into the moment and entering into the mark and the movement and the breath and the energy and seeing what's arising and sometimes that's scary um, but sometimes it's also very thrilling <laughs> it's like being on that razor's edge Ooh, what if i just do something that i don't know isn't even a traditional way to do it that is where you're like starting to go outside of yourself beyond the boundaries and beyond like li like your own limitations and um just seeing what's there that is cool because it's like as artists and creatives we're like like explorers of our own universe and then we're creating different universes and worlds to enter into and dive into and move through so it's all about finding that thing the feeling and staying with it until it dies off and sometimes that can be a long while and sometimes it can just be like a short burst and it's like noticing like when you push and when you pull and when you move towards something more you know, um, and, and not judging ourselves in the process, which is so hard to do, um, like in art and life, but I think, uh, this drawing practice, uh, an int automatic intuitive drawing practice really teaches us where to, like, we, that we can let go, you know, and that we don't have to be so, uptight <laughs> um it's and that's a risk in itself right because sometimes we need this perfection and um we're so focused on appearances and um what other people have told us and said and all uh, it's so much to me this practice is about letting go of all of that and just being with yourself in the mess and in the like fun and in the emotion of it and learning how to like balance all of our emotions in the process, you know, really paying attention to each thing and like bringing in more and more awareness every time you hit the page, you know, and that's what's cool about <laughs> just taking yourself somewhere new and we could do that like every day in every moment not just in art but in life thank you for tuning in to this video i hope you enjoyed it if you enjoy like uh deep insight process practice mindset 
meditation, energy, intuition, <laughs> all of that like deep diving cool stuff, then um, hit subscribe <laughs> and there's a lot more coming. <laughs> Thank you.